do you think? We did run into a little trouble with, um, I'll show you here, with the, the P-trap. With the existing, it didn't line up, so what I'm going to have to do, I, these are just in place, they're not glued yet, but I had to put in 245s to stagger that and also to bring this up a little higher because without it, it was too low and it was almost a complete diameter of the pipe off and there's just no way that I could get it to adjust. So That's cut and fitted and ready to be glued and have the doors off just so they're out of the way while I'm working while it's functioning and typical of the way I do things measure twice cut twice what I did I, I should have done it when I was filming but what I do when I put a toilet in I put the bolt in place and then I put the toilet down temporarily mark the bolt for where I need the minimum and then allow for the washer the plastic washer that is for the little cap and the nut and then add a little bit and mark it and then I cut it take the toilet up again take the bolts out and cut them in the vise it's a lot easier than trying to cut them here with a hacksaw the only problem is I cut them too long so I have to I'll have to get the Dremel Moto tool and just nip probably an eighth of an inch is all I need but I'll take a little more um, the toilet is down it's turned on it's working it's a one of those dual flush units with a smaller tank and uh, so that's done the cabinet is mounted Hang on while I get up. So the cabinet's mounted. The sink is mounted. The taps are hooked up. But I didn't turn the water on yet because I don't have the P-trap done. <coughs> the GFI mounted. Working. So... That's a good thing. We ran into one problem. Might need a rework. This is the mirror that goes with it. No, I've just got it balanced on there. When I lift the mirror up high enough for me, it hits the lights. So, I'm going to do something with the lights, moving them up higher, or change mirrors. And we're going to keep this mirror, so it means I might have to repaint this wall and move the octagonal box up, which was already a hassle to get it in because the, the tabs on the octagon box that mount the plate for this, the octagon box was put in not normal, but it was put on at the angle, so the... The holes in the box were parallel and level. But I also needed to put in these machine screws to put these on. So you can't have the screws that mount that plate and those screws in the same hole. So it's a, it was a plate similar to this. So when you had the plate mounted, in order to mount it, you had to have the screws going through horizontally and then these are horizontal this didn't work so I had to loosen the box twist it in the hole and then try and get it reattached without moving it um, and I guess it's all for naught because I'll have to either change the light or move the box up and then repaint that wall but you know, we're getting there. So it's just a matter of uh, gluing the 
P-trap, putting the doors back on, then that's done. The taps are hooked up, the water's hooked up, I just haven't turned them on because I don't want to have it running. So all that's left to do is glue and attach the P-trap, put the doors back on, put the mirror on, either raise the light or change the light. Baseboards, threshold plate, and uh, towel bar and toilet paper holder, and we're done. So a couple hours and we'll have it made. <coughs> so anyway. Take it easy. Have a good one.